Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I hope you guys are having a great time. Um, I'm Chaitali, Senior User Experience Designer at MathWorks India. And we will be diving into the hidden world of discoverability and user experience. Um, I will show you how are these two interconnected and uh, spill some beans at what we do at MathWorks to make our products easy to explore. So I hope you guys are excited. So I'll set some context about who we are and what we do. Um, so MathWorks products uh, solve complex problems for our users. So it's crucial for our features to make it more easy to discover. Uh, we will explore the importance of discoverability and how it's related to our work. And we'll also dive into MathWorks discoverability practices. And I'll provide some tips about how you can enhance your discoverability practices along the way. So we can get started. So uh, let's start with who we are and uh, what we do. So MathWorks is a maker of MATLAB and Simulink. Uh, it's a programming language and technical computing environment. Um, our softwares are mainly utilized by engineers, researchers, scientists to design, uh, test, and simulate. Uh, basically, for mainly all the products that we use on a daily basis. Uh, MATLAB is also used by students and professors at universities at, for research and hands-on approach for applied engineering. Our users are of diverse age groups and abilities. In fact, we have 4 million users for our products in 185 countries. Uh, we have around 5,000 staff members, around 31 offices around the globe. And our UX team has over 100 plus passionate uh, UX professionals from US, Europe, and India. So our goal is to change the world by accelerating the pace of science and engineering. And we have around 120 plus products. And our customers sometimes use our features across multiple products to accomplish their workflows. So in this workflow-centric world, it becomes hard to ensure whether our customers are discovering the new and improved features so that it can help them in their workflows. So this is the exciting part. Um, let's dive into what is discoverability, why is it important, and why does it even matter? So seeking out new discoveries and exploring the unknown is a natural human behavior. And that's exactly what users do when they encounter a new product for the first time. Uh, in my experience, if a feature is hard to find, users won't use it, so it doesn't matter how amazing the product is. So here is an example of our product. On the left, uh, you will see the MATLAB in 2011, so where the features are extremely hard to find in the nested menus. On the right, you will see a tool strip based design that provides better visibility and discoverability uh, of the main features in our complex tools. So by adopting discoverability as one of our primary project goals, we incorporate discoverability efforts into our design. And that also pays off in the new designs. So during the usability test, we identified that users discover features that were previously existing, uh, which weren't even noticeable. So Donald Norman once said that two of the important characteristics of a good design is discoverability and understanding. So a well-designed product enables users to quickly grasp its features, leading to increase in satisfaction and usability testing. So how do we even achieve this in the UX design? So it starts with planting a seed of discoverability right in the beginning of the double diamond phase. And you can think about it more like weaving into the design thinking process, and it carried forwards in the other phases of the product design lifecycle. So what is discoverability? Um, as the name suggests, discoverability is users' ability to discover features, functionality control, and even the context as they go through and use their application and website. So discoverability enhances learnability, the ability for the users to begin using the product, adds features, and also its functionality quickly that promotes overall user experience. 
And that's why uh, discoverability is an important component for user experience as it overall promotes satisfaction and user engagement. So uh, following are some of the pain points for discoverability that we addressed. So discoverability ensures accessibility of features such as screen readers, keyboard shortcuts, and alternative text. As uh, it's easier to, it's, it makes it easier and usable to discover and uh, by individuals with disability. Discoverability helps in the visibility of new and hidden features and making the product features visible is the first step for product adoption. Better discoverability also for the product feature reduces search time and effort. And lastly, reduced time and heightened visibility of a product feature can lead to increased productivity and better user experience. Uh, so we should start considering to make discoverability as a priority for our user experience, marketing, documentation, and development teams. Uh, by emphasizing its importance, we ensure the collaborative effort to deliver a successful product launch till the usage. Uh, the UX working group ensures discoverability is considered in all parts of the product development phases, while the steering team oversees the organizational alignment with the strategic goals. So I have been an active member of UX discoverability working group. Um, so we are a team of uh, highly talented UX individuals that are dedicated to uh, driving and developing effective in-product discoverability patterns and resources. Uh, we organize our projects into UX-led activities and a uh, partnership with engineering, pairing researchers and designers for maximum effectiveness. So now I would like to share discoverability practices and how we can get started. Um, we have a range of discoverability practices that guide our design process. Uh, we create internal design standards. Uh, we continuously research and improve discoverability. Access discoverability, discoverability through usability testing. And we uh, establish discoverability patterns to make features easily discoverable both inside and outside the product. So how do we even make this happen? So in collaboration with a researcher, we make sure design decisions of the project are informed and shaped with data and user insights. Uh, we review the existing design practices uh, that can make us help uh, or improve uh, informed uh, future decisions about our features and also identify areas of improvement. Uh, we also establish a new set of discoverability standards for individual and different types of features of the product incorporating them into the design system. And this comply with the design standards and provide a consistent user experience. So we follow continuous discoverability research uh, where we invest uh, in research to gain more insights into how to best leverage these features to maximum impact. Um, we engage our practices that promote discoverability, learnability, and findability. We are able to conduct continuous discoverability research because we are organized as a working group which is not tied to a product or a feature, uh, but we come across the overall organization without any boundaries. Uh, to access discoverability, we start to evaluate the product features for viability and relevance. Uh, we utilize the discoverability patterns to emphasize features and to boost user engagement. Uh, and we even examine the in-product user experience and enhance the product discoverability by studying the user's behavior. Uh, so I would recommend to start building a discoverability checklist uh, that can help uh, you make informed decisions for high priority and strategic features. So the use of discoverability patterns can aid in creating that are both uh, features that are discoverable inside and out. So here is an example of MATLAB. Uh, on the left, you will see a command window where you can write your scripts. Uh, 
Now you can see it reflects Add-on Explorer. Oh, that will help you navigate to a web window, which has information about support packages and add-on. So this is how MATLAB enables a uh, discovery of our features. Our online website is a way to help our users in discovering our wide range of products. Um, like I previously said, uh, MathWorks has around 120 plus products, so we have new features and that we share through release notes and documentation. So I would uh, like to share some of the tips uh, so that we can help improve discoverability in your products. Uh, as you build discoverability practices, you can start thinking on these lines. A uh, first is the new possibilities opening up with emerging trends into research. You can start to identify discoverability patterns that can drive the impact of your own product. Uh, start integrating discoverability patterns into your design system. And then start to leverage users' mental model. I feel this is very important because you're trying to tailor the product as per their needs and goals. <laughs> start with continuous feedback loop amongst your stakeholders that can help you provide informed decisions and also help apply discoverability practices along the way. You can start interacting with your users and start to spot on long-term growth and retention in discoverability. So discoverability is an ongoing practice that we are committed to for continuous improving within our products, our systems, and our features. And here are some of the resources that can help you support your effort in establishing effective discoverability practices. Um, if we still have time, then anybody can ask any questions. Um, and thank you for being a lovely audience. I hope this was interesting and helpful. <laughs>